Last time I said we'd be getting into the useful software this time and moving away from the just getting into the command line side of things, but I was wrong. Instead, I've made two short videos, one to show you how to get to the command line using a Chromebook and one to get into the command line using an iPad. These aren't the standard ways you would do this with a computer. It goes along with last week's video about DigitalOcean, but you can use this to get into any kind of server that you have whether that would be through your university, your work, your home server. You don't have to use that DigitalOcean option unless you want to, but this will let you, this video will get you into a remote server using a Chromebook. The next video will get you into a remote server using an iPad or an iPhone even. After that, we'll get into the, the useful stuff for real this time. But for now, let's take a look at a Chromebook. Okay, so now you'll see my Mac screen is on the screen right now, and that's because the screen recorder I'm using is for Mac. Although you can do screen recordings from a Chromebook, that's not the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to use regular old the Chrome app on a computer, but if you're using a Chromebook, you do exactly the same things. There's no trick to it. Um, we don't want this site right now. What we want to do is go to the Chrome Web Store. And if you've got a Chromebook, you know how to do that. There's an icon right down at the bottom. Bring up the Chrome Web Store, and you get this site, where we go up here to search, and we're going to type SS, not that, we're going to type SSH, Secure Shell. And these are not the things we want. We want to click on Extensions, which will bring up those same three things and some other stuff. Now, I can't say I've tried all of these. There's a lot of things here. Some of them are free, some of them aren't. I don't know about most of them. The one I have used most is Secure Shell Extension. And this is by Google, so you can rely on it. It's safe. Add to Chrome. Do all that stuff, yes. And it adds it up here. Okay, so that's it. That We just installed it, no problem. To go somewhere, we click on the secure and do this. Connection dialog. And we are done with this screen for now, so I'm going to get that out of there. And this is our connection dialog. Got some stuff going on in the background here, but since we've never used it before, we're going to have a thing up here for new connection. And here's where you type username at host name or wherever. Now, what I'm going to use, oh, it already knows some of them for, that I've used before, but I'm going to type in Brian at AmazingSerials.com. Or you could type in that uh, IP number that we made last week from DigitalOcean or wherever it is you're going. Your username at whatever the domain name is or username at the IP number, whichever. If you're using some kind of non-standard port, you type that in there. Usually for SSH it's 22, but that's changeable, and if you have changed it for some reason, type in the right number there. The rest of this stuff we don't need to worry about right now if we're just going to use SSH. So I'm going to click Connect. Yes, allow that. And here it's trying to get in there. It re recognizes that we've never gone to that site with this system before, so we're going to just choose yes because it's okay. And it wants to know the password. I cut and paste my password right in. And boom, we are in. And now we have a web base. This is a web browser you're looking at here. This whole thing is a part of Chrome, and we can do whatever it is we want to do. And we can do stuff. Things like that. Anything we want to do. And when you want out, just type exit and X to exit, and you're right back out. And again, I did this on my Mac, but it was all done inside of Chrome. So if you're doing the Chromebook, do exactly the same thing. And that's it. It's very simple. If you want to check out the next video, for the iPad, 
It's a similar sort of situation, but it has a terminal app instead. Otherwise, come back for the following video and we'll start doing some actual apps that you can play with. And of course, in the meantime, if you can't wait, pick it up, Going Text, the book, or if you saw the website on there, go try out goingtext.com. Otherwise, see you next week.